All right, welcome back in, everyone. So today, I'm going to do another little, maybe, type of video. It's tips, but um, I'm going to do something specific. So this is going to be about specific blocks. This one is the fancy stone block. And, <coughs> excuse me, and things you may not even know what it does. So first off, this is fancy stone right here. This is a full wall size, and this is what it does every time. If I were to place another wall directly on top of this, you will see that it just continues up exactly like it does. So you get this kind of, I don't know, rammed earth, adobe look, kind of an alabaster type as it goes up. But if you only go up a certain amount, which is two blocks, you get this cool look. Now this is really good if you're going to build a kitchen, like you're actually properly building the kitchen. This works really well for a long bar uh, or a kitchen island or something like that. And then this is what the the main stone looks like. The, um, sorry, main stone. The main column versus the small column. If you'll notice the difference, the main column has these squares on the corners, kind of like, well, kind of like what this does, but the small column doesn't. So if you have a way to hide the bottom two, now I did try digging down, putting that in and doing it. The problem is as soon as you cover it back up, it pops two up above the surface. So you'll have to get creative to hide the bottom two because that would be an interesting feature you could put in your building, just having this single block wide, like I said, kind of like an alabaster, kind of a um, drywall look to it. That'd be pretty neat. And then planter boxes. Now, a lot of things people don't know, when you place them by ones, you can make what it would looks like from the ground. It looks just like a planter box. If you do it too deep, it really looks like a planter box. It even kind of looks like dirt up here. It's not perfect, but it kind of looks like it. And I'm going to show you how to do that part today. So then you go into the floor. It's not stone for the floor. It actually looks like old uh, hardwood, like from the 1900s or something like that. It looks really cool as the flooring, like you can put it in your attic or something like that. But then it's coffered for ceilings. So if you want to use it as a ceiling, it is a coffered ceiling. If you want to use it as a floor, it looks like old timber. Then you've got these interesting looks for different sizes. Now, let's go ahead and build this bad boy because it is just very cool looking. So we're going to go to... This number two, and we're going to use everybody's favorite. We all know how much people love this block. And I think what I want to do is I want to do the, it's probably not going to be centered, but I want to do the new round window. So the round window is a three by three. One of the round windows is, a, there's different sizes, of course. Nice. Love it. Thank you, Keen, for putting those in. So now we have this nice round window, but we don't have the flowers in there. Now there's two options you can do. You can actually go uh, double deep, like this right here. And this is what I did at first. And then take out this layer, using the number one here, take out this layer, use this polished shelf on the second layer back. It'll stick out a little bit. It doesn't stick out great, but it sticks out a little bit. And then you can use, uh, stick pots on them right at the very edge and they'll come up through. That's if you want to use different than the ones we have that will mount on the wall. Today we're going to use the ones that mount on the wall because quite frankly it's easier. <clears throat> now for this specific tile type you see how the window has this top lip where my white reticle is then another lip then another lip and it graduates down. I'm going to use the top lip. I want to center this, but I cannot go all the way up to the top. If I go all the way to the top, I'll show you. Right now, we are pretty dead on. If I now place, we got to go to fancy, nope, wrong way. 
fancy stone. If I place this now, you can see the pot. I don't want to see the pot. So we have to pick this guy up. And what we're trying to do with this is we need to place it about halfway. You can even go to the very bottom if you just want to make it easier on yourself. Oh, what's halfway? Let's go to the very bottom just to make it easy. Get it centered right to the bottom. The problem is these white flowers. The white flowers have a really hard time showing because of how low they are, how how close to the the pot edge they are. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to match the height of the other one, but I'm going to merge it pretty tight. About as tight as I can get it. All right. Let's go over do this guy. Same thing. I want to merge it height wise, but I want to get it nice and tight. About like that. I think that looks good. So now we're going to grab our tool and we're going to place fancy stone block. Like that. So now it look it did clip a little bit over here. The the white comes quite oh, quite to the edge could have maybe come this way just a hair but looks very very cool now personally on the bottom level the ground floor I don't like the single hanging you can you know do whatever you want but I think it looks better to do it like this I just I just think it fits the bottom better whereas this I think looks really nice as just a single and I didn't put flowers up there it's just just a demonstration, but this is what you can do with all these things that you can do with just fancy stone and gives you all kinds of really cool looks. I love the coffered ceiling. So yeah, I like it a lot. Thanks for watching everybody.